You know, my last owner always said I was sharp and edgy. <laughs> he was such an ass. I bet he was, until you killed him, Lorcor. But that's a story for another time. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Nugget21. Welcome back to Let's Play Boulder's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. Last time, we started to work for a bitch that calls herself... Fairy. I, I Pierre, I'm not sure how you're supposed to pronounce her name. Who cares? Are they all so crowded like this? And in the meantime, we also solved the mage's proposal by casting freedom. I helped Visceral retrieve the items he sought. He tried to give me a small portion, but I demanded more. In the end, I got what I wanted, which was several scrolls, in addition to a stupid rod that I'm going to sell. Unfortunately, I have to look for a deep known that's gone missing still, recover fucking uh, Adelon's eggs. And that's pretty much it. We also da, 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 did a quest for a fish in a jar in retrieving Koi's brain. So now we're just gonna head back into the tavern and continue our merry adventure through yeah, drought politics. Yeah, I'll see. What's fun we shall have. And I just recognize that this is a starfish. <sighs> yeah, it's done. Ah, it is you again. <sighs> I hate having to check whether or not dog took off my shoes. I'm paranoid now. Great! Not like I wasn't paranoid before. But... When, the, when a puppy refuses to go to sleep and bug me, I have to make sure my things don't get chewed up to hell. I'm not even five minutes in and this water bottle is almost empty. Great. <sighs> Just great. Alrighty then. Let's continue on, shall we? It's good you have come, Veldrin. Up until now, I have only had the company of Sullivan, and his pathetic melancholy has nearly drained my patience. So I shall be brief and send you on your way. You would like that, Sullivan, yes? Just spit it out if you must. Very well. The major mothers have decided the deep gnomes, the silver blend, have not shown enough fear of the drow of late. And so it is time to teach them a lesson. Mother Ardalise has volunteered you for this particular service. You... You want me to kill Surferblin? Gnomes! Such a minor task and I'm to waste my time on. I have better things to do, woman. You have better things to do than to serve the queen of the demon with pips, Mother Loth herself. Bah! As if the Spider Queen would care about what we do with the deep gnomes. Son Veldrin, if you're so interested. I'm sure he'll do it without me, I assure you. No, you will go with Veldrin. Argue again, and shall be your tongue, Sullivan. Approach the Silver Blade Village and the Great Caverns in the way of patrol. Slaughter them and bring back proof of the deed. Return here in a few days. But but the Silver Blade aren't evil. They're they're just harmless gnomes. Why must we do this? Uh, no, that's a myth for a drow. What would you propose, Mercy? How would that look to our true enemies? She'll do as I say without a further word. Uh, this is what the major murders decrees that I have little choice. I will go now. Veldrin, catch up quickly. I expect you to be there without delay. Oh joy! Now we have to go kill some more gnomes. Give me some Harry direction. doesn't like that. No sorry. But, unfortunately for her, welcome to Drow. If you were more wise in the ways of the world, you probably choice. wouldn't be so disgusted. But since Eri is a naive little I'm child, there. you can't really expect much else out of her. Now the question is, you must gather your party before where would I find a missing forth. gnome around here? <laughs> you must gather your party before it's kind of hard to keep forth. track of short people. Yeah, it must be done. Okay, now, where in the world would we go to find a patrol of random-ass gnomes? 
That is a decent enough question. Let's see, Fairy has given us another task from the Matron Mothers. We are to go to the northwest end of the caverns near the Silver Bloom Village and slaughter a patrol deep gnomes to instill more fear in their people. Why give us the race name and the common name? Make up your mind, game! Solfane seems unwilling, preferring that I complete this job, but Fairy was adamant. I am to meet with Solfane near the village for a few days at most. Alright then. At best. We don't get our transformation is so good they won't know it's us. Except for the village leader, apparently, but I think that's not wasn't scripted correctly for this to work. Oh there he is. Alright, let's get everyone over here. Everyone into position. Another bottle down. Two more to go, because I got three water balls with me. I should have brought four. I do what I must, when I must. Know this well. And finally, there you are. We shall wait here for the patrol to come to us. One will come soon, I expect, and then we can get this over with. I can handle this myself, Sophan, if you prefer to return to the city. Hmm. Perhaps I'll take you up on the offer then. Fairy makes the joys make me dance, and I have no desire to comply. Are you sure you could accomplish this? Of course. Very well, I will go. Once the deed is done, take the helmet of the leader, return to the tavern who's nothing. I'll meet you there. Do not fail, Veldrin. I got a feeling that Sulathan has been sent back to his death. Or at the very least, his tongue being removed. Whoops. Ah, well, who cares? It's a random asshole that no one gives a shit about. It's always amazing to me how different brands of bottled water taste different. Even when all these three bottles are spring water, only two of them are from the same company. Young Supply Company. And I have no idea where these go. I know they're supposed to go to uh, vendors. Probably best mm, left to me. Yes! Drow! Oh, go there, Didan. That's Suganostat. Uh, sorry, but I don't understand your tongue. Ah! I had me thinking most around knowing simple tongue of the stone. I would be talking in the tongue of the dark ones, yes? We be greetings, dark ones! And we be asking you for a purpose for this place of being. Respecting you, the peace, as we? I actually was sent here by the drow to kill you in patrol. But I do not wish to do that. Most alarming this is! Why would the Dark Ones be killing us? We be at peace, we is! Uh, they feel you don't fear them enough and want to send a message to you and their enemies. We be fearing Dark Ones already! Always could they be willing to kill us if they be wishing to. Grateful we are for your mercy. I just need some proof for them to have done as they bid. Can I have your helmet? My helmet? If it be saving my life, yes! Here it be! We'll be going now and be telling Deep Lord that bowing and scraping to Dark Woods is to be done if war is to be avoided, guys. Thanking you for your mercy, we are. May the Deep Brother be smiling on you kindly always. Well, that was easy. And killing gnomes doesn't really seem worth the effort. Patrol Leader's Helmet. This is the helmet of the Silver Blue Patrol Leader that you were set to kill. It will act as proof that you have succeeded in your mission. Protects against critical hits. And I guess it was a good thing that we sent a Solophane back to the city. Otherwise, we probably would have killed the patrol, and Aria would not have been happy. Let's see, Aria wouldn't have been happy. Uh, Minsk probably wouldn't have been happy. Herodolius probably doesn't give a shit. Imowen would probably be upset. Viconia wouldn't give two fucks. Just straight up would not give two shits. I don't give two shits either, because I don't like short people. Fantasy or real life, I don't know why I can't stand dwarves. It's like... I associate being small with being a child, not being a grown-ass adult. Your party before venturing forth. 
It's probably some weird way my brain is wired from my path in life. Come on, what about now? Let's kill! It's like, uh, certain aspects of my personality regarding various groups of people are also the result of me growing up in a specific way. Or my brain is just hardwired. Why the fuck did I not click all? You must gather your party before venturing Damn forth. you, buttons! Why must you fail me? No way, that's not the bun's fault. That's my brain's fault for not recognizing it. <sighs> I wish this wasn't water but vodka instead. At least that way I could actually be drunk. Actually, no, that's a bad idea. Because these are what? 16.9 fluid out. Why 16 point? Just put 16! Or 17! Just make it a whole fucking number! You fucking pissant little shits. Oh wait, I forgot. Fluid ounces. That's an imperial measurement. The metric is 500 milliliters. You gather your of course. How could I force. forget? It can't be exact to imperial. It's got to be exact to metric because of the rest of the fucking world. <sighs> it's not like the United States hasn't tried to fix that problem before. But since it will cost millions to potentially billions amount of money to switch to the metric system, it's never going to happen. You must gather your party before venturing It's too little too late to switch. Because in America, capitalism rules our politics. I hope this is worth For the it. most part. Alright. Oh, Solfan, you're not dead yet. That's a shocker. Yeah, I'll see you. Uh, it is you again. Ah, you return. And with Sylphop and Helmand no less. Good. I am sure the gnomes are scrambling as we seek to provide a tribute to the matron mothers. Hmm. Ah, uh, yes. I am sure the gnomes were suitably impressed by our display of viciousness. No doubt they had no inkling we were capable of such a feat. What is this? Are you losing your stomach for blood, Sylphop? Spider Queen would be displeased to hear such, I would think. I saved my wrath for the drow's true enemies. Loth knows this, as does the matron mother of my own house. It's not for you to decide, male. I shall have your bloody heart ripped from your chest on the altar as you continue to speak. I call your bluff, arrogant one. Act in your war between your house and mine. How would Mother Artelis see that, I wonder? It is almost worth it to silence your impotent tongue. If a handmaiden were to see you speak to me as such, she would flay you open without a second thought. You should be so lucky to spawn a bitch. Bah! I will listen no more. Veldrin, meet me within my private quarter in the Female Fighters Society Tower within one hour. Veldrin, do not be late. <sighs> Very well, I shall be there. Good. You, Solfane, will wait until the matron mothers find their tasks to set you to. May it lead you to a gruesome death worm. Harry, hey, levels up! And we finally enter the Female Fighter Society Tower. I wonder if that's a uh, euphemism for a kinky sex dungeon. Probably not! Because this is a M-rated game, not an A-rated game. That would be a huge different story. Although... Wait. No, I don't think there are mods for this game that do that stuff. Well. There's some more explicit writing material, but it's not so explicit it's uh, hardcore. It's more like Fifty Shades of Grey level. Rather than an actual erotica book. Then again, Fifty Shades of Grey is softcore. It's, it's shitty softcore, but it's still softcore. Yes, I've read Fifty Shades of Grey. What are you gonna do? Sue me? I've also read Twilight. And Twilight's fucking bad. It's a shitty romance novel with fucking bullshit, stupid fantasy elements. Vampires don't sparkle, and werewolves ain't motherfucking shapeshifters. <sighs> Seriously, remove the fantasy elements from Twilight, and you have a shitty romance serial. At least Harry can cast more spells now. Vocalize. Uh, let's have 
Why do spell deflection? <laughs> Fucking hell. And I had a full pot of coffee for this morning, so why should- why am I sleeping? Let's have death spell. Let's see what that can do. Er, he does not have- oh. Ooh, excuse me. Um... Remove paralysis. And let's have another casting of... Old person. All right then. I'm waiting. Let's move on. Okay. Uh, oh, okay. Sure. Why not? Just go straight in the door. I'm willing. Excuse me. I gotta shut my door. It's not so much the door being open as the issue, it's that the sound being projected downstairs is the issue. Well, ever since that pup came around, my entire recording schedule has been fucked up. It makes me want to record in gigantic batches and just release it throughout, but that's never gonna happen. I hope this is worth it. Ah, uh, it is you again. You are lucky that my move has improved, Mail. I was pondering having you torture for my amusement, but the whim has passed. You need to look so nervous, fool. If I desired you for intimate matters, you'd be naked and sweating already. Now I need you for something else. Of course, it would be too good to be true. Can't get laid for shit around here. You are aware of my relationship with Solophane, yes? You don't need to stare at me blankly. Our animosity is open and obvious. His insolence is beyond all endurance. I cannot tolerate it further without risking my position in lost hierarchy. But I cannot also take action. That would be traced back to myself or my house without risking war. So you shall take action for me. You will kill Cellophane. Uh, how do you propose I do this, exactly? Cellophane may have been given time off from his regular duties, but you will find him in his quarters in the male fighter society, sulking as is his wont. He will not be expecting you, nor will he be upset or suspect your true intentions, I imagine. He will greet you, and then you will kill him. Those in my house would be the first question for his death, but you, the allies of any house, can get away from his murder. I very much doubt that. Once you are done, take his... Hmm. Take his... Pawafi cloak and bring it back to me, here. It shall make an excellent trophy. That's all. Do you understand what I ask of you, Veldrin? Telling anyone will bring death upon yourself. I shall keep your secret as you keep mine. <sighs> I understand, and I look forward to killing that arrogant bastard. It's good to see a drow male with a commendable lust for power. Continue this attitude, Veldrin, and thanks to Snaffa will provide favorably for you. Go then. You have three days to hunt down the fool and return with his cloak. Do not fail me, Veldrin. Uh, before we leap upon our target, my raven, at least consider the possibility that perhaps there are other choices. Perhaps we should play a game of intrigue as well and see what Sullivan has to say, yes? Ah, uh, Herodolis. Because your neutrality, you offer us a ver ver verifiable solution. Yeah, so see. let's head to the male fighter society. Ah, Sulfane, I'm gonna quick save. It's done. I do what I must, when I must. Know this well. Eldrin, what are you doing here? The matron mothers have not given me the third task so soon, have they? I was given leave to rest. Well, fairy sent me to kill you, Sulfane, but I'm not gonna do it. 
I see. It was only a matter of time before she acted, I suppose. No alliance of mine to any house could prevent the unseen dagger from plunging into my back. Perry and I were lovers once. Mother Artilus felt Perry care for me in the most undrow like fashion and had her taken by the handmaidens. They torture her with tentacle rods. Torture is I can only shudder at the thought of. Kinky. When they were done, all that remained of Fairy was her ambition. And I? I remained only as a constant reminder for weakness. I've been expecting this for a long time. So then, if you're not going to kill me, what do you propose we do? Well, I need your pull off a cloak to prove the fairy that you are dead, but what will you do? You can have my cloak, I have a little need of it, and I... I do not know. I cannot be in scene in the city without endangering your lives as well as my own. And I do not wish war between my house and the Spania, I... I have never wished to harm those who are not foul and evil, true enemies of the drow. I... I do not know why I tell you this. Perhaps it is the mercy you show me, but I fear we drow have lost the right path. We need to be led back to it. Well, this, oh, holy shit, this guy's coming around. It's amazing what happens when he shows uh, some drow a simple concept known as good decency. Show them another way that's better for them, and some, if not most, will actually take it. Why do you think Australia has so many goddamn followers? It's funny. Drow who turn their backs on Loth and live on the surface can actually have their skin change color from a uh, ebony to a brown color, which is I find hilarious actually. Of course, those are that only counts to those born on the surface, but you get the point. Because the dark skin is only physical proof of their. Uh, uh, treachery, as it were, because of the Spider Queen bitch. I will seek those who feel as I do. Perhaps I shall remain in the shadows and not betray your secret, Veldrin. I thank you for having mercy you have shown. I suggest that there is hope for our people. May... May Australia, Lady Silverhair, watch over you always. <sighs> it takes a good... a certain kind of person to deal with drow politics. It takes a really good actor to survive down here. <laughs> the only drow that fail... The acting part end up dead. Or they could just end up dead regardless. Damn it. You know, for a fighting society, there's not that many people. Drow pull off the Damn, that's a good cloak. This cloak belongs to Silophane, the Drow Warrior. Increase the wearer's height and shadows and move silently abilities. Talented Drow Weavers have woven the strands of adamantite into this cloak, thus rendering it useless if exposed to sunlight. The effect of which will turn the cloak to- Son of a bitch! Uh, is there anything that can be done with all this adamantium dust I'm gonna be getting? If it must be done. Ah, it is you again. Ah, I see you carrying his pull off cloak, my darling Veldrin. He. Silphane is dead, yes? Yes, of course he. He is dead. Here, give it to me. All oh, love is foolish. You have done well, Veldrin. You have earned a place of honor in this house by serving me well. This will not stop, naturally. First, I will speak to you alone, Veldrin. Oh, this should be good. Ah, uh, it is you again. Figures! Figures! The one time we have a chance to get laid and it's in the fucking Underdark. Well, this should be interesting to see. What's gonna happen? I find you useful, Veldrin. You're a very strong, powerful male, worthy of my bed. You shall remain here for a time and please me. Come. Uh, is this really necessary? Of course it is necessary, fool. The fact that I command it makes it necessary. Remove your clothing and come here already. Uh, if I must, then I suppose I have no choice in the matter. This should be great. Excellent! 
I shall show you my dark elder wine. Evening with fairies worth more than a thirty of all other women. Come, I'm anxious to begin. Well, all right, we got laid. That's oh, fantastic. It is you. Ah, finally you awaken. Come, rise, lazy one. I was almost ready to call in the slaves and have you beaten. There's much for you to do. It's time to introduce you to the matron mother of House Espania, Belgian. Mother Artelis is anxious to see the man who has done so much for Usnatha. You go to the temple and meet me and Mother Artelis there. Do not delay, Veldrin. Mother Artelis wishes to speak to you immediately. And bloody tastic! Yeah, it's probably best left to me. Well, let's see. We laid with a, with a drow lady, direction. and now we get to meet one well, the matron mothers. Awesome! And when there's no way for us to get discovered within the temple loft, right? I right? Think this is worth it. Oh, I got a feeling this is gonna go poorly. For some if we don't get discovered. Although I don't know if we could be done anything to blow in our cover. And I don't think Lolf has enough power to negate a dragon's transformation magic. I hope. Then again, because of the law is set by Ao, the gods don't really have much to say in the mortal realms other than through their followers. And even then, their magic is limited. It's a good thing too, otherwise- Oh boy, doing? this place would be fucked! Ah, there you are. Matron, this is the male that I spoke to you of. Veldrin. Uh, I could see him well enough, fool girl. Do you think I am blind? Eh, I see nothing special about him. What fascinates you so? Matron, he's an excellent fire, and he's the one that rid of House to spawn of its other problem. This? Is that one? Ilfid's eye, ty eye tyrants, gnomes, and the mighty cellophane. Are you sure? To me, looks scrawny, and there's something odd. I am positive, Matron, that he could prove great use to us. To you. Eh, perhaps. Let him prove it then, if he used to become so favored in the eyes of the Spania. You boy. You there. Veldrin, is it? Pay attention. The eye tyrant you kill coming from their so-called city. It was not the right type. I told the girl here which type I required, and that was not the one. But, Matron, I... Silence, girl. I will not swallow your lies. Speak again, I will send you to the pits of love. Would you like to deal with the drider again so soon, girl? Now, Veldrin, you have proven yourself as competent. This is good. What's the spy needs competence? Or a commodity when we're surrounded by fools. How's the spy is about to embark on the path to greatness, Veldrin? You can tie yourself tightly to us. Mother Loth approves of the successful. But I require something rare to begin the path. You might acquire it for me, so I shall give you the task and see if you earn the spy in his favor. I need the blood of one of our neighbor races, Veldrin. Noble races only. And blood from one of their most powerful members. A dangerous task. Your first option is to acquire the blood of an Elder Orb. Most powerful of the Eye Tyrants. It's blood or it's eye. I obeyed the fool girl to do this, but she failed. The spell Jabber Tyrant was supposed to be an Elder Matron. I swear this is what the spies have reported. They must have exaggerated. Silence! You should have checked it yourself, girl. Do not so rely on this male to be your strength and your wits. No, Matron, I do not. Enough. Should you go after the Elder Orb, you will no doubt find one in the tunnels of the southeastern portion of the main caverns. Your other options are to gather blood from the Elder Brain of the Oathids or from a Prince of the Quateau. Either will be as difficult as the Elder Orb. The Elder Brain is guarded within the Oathid city through the southeast caverns. The little ruin of the Quateau lies in the western caverns ruled by a Mad Prince. So I went there... early. Great! Just great! Figures that my... Incessant need to explore, or at least be areas I did not need to do right off the bat! Gah. Sometimes I wonder why I do blind, blind playthroughs. Oh wait, I know why I do blind. It's because my abilities to explain shit is crap. And... My post-commentary is garbage. And... Using a lot of conjunctions here. And, what's the third reason? Oh yeah, my reactions are more legit this way. 
Go then, Veldrin. Bring me the blood of one of these creatures. I also spawn and await your return, but do not tarry. That is my command. I got already got all three, but I'll wait. Very well, I will do my best. Of course you will. Go now and begin your task. Alright then. Ooh. Mother Artelis has sent me here to get the blood of one of the other races. Da, 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 da. Ah, it is you again. Ah, well, we're back. We had all three. You had the blood. You've done outstanding, Veldrin. Ah, the Spider Queen smiles upon us. Our, our gamble does not go unwasted, daughter. Your champion has brought us the blood we need. Yeah, here, have all three. <laughs> Praise Lot, the ritual may finally begin. This my rule is not a uh, question as the prominent house. Permanent house. Indeed, but we must be cautious, Doctor, ever cautious. The ritual may be disrupted before is it completed. The silver one may get desperate. You are going to seal the city, Matron? Yes, we cannot be disturbed from the ins outside. I shall go now and begin the proper preparations. This shall be a glorious day indeed. Veldrin, you have done house the spot at the greatest of services. You will be a male without equal. Riches and slaves shall be yours. I shall see to it as soon as the ritual will be completed. Now it's time for you to rest, young strong one. There is nothing more for you to prove to me. Well, I'm not quite done with just yet, but Eldrin, come to my personal apartments. I expect you to meet you there within the hour. This is not a request. <laughs> okay, more XP! Okay then! Interesting. Yay! Minsk has more spells. Uh. Man, why is the fucking ranger spell list so shit? Well. Can we go whack something now? Hmm. And Fairy has something else in mind. Hmm, I wonder what it is. I doubt it's more sex, but I won't say no to more sex. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Fortunately for me, in real life, that's never gonna happen. Because I am a shut-in and an absolutely it. shitty person to meet. Well, I'm a quiet person to meet. If I don't know you, I ain't gonna say shit. Oh, glory for the Dark Mother! You there, worthless male. Loft demands a service of you. We have just crashed a sect of blasphemous god uh, worshippers, but they have fled and now hold themselves against our vengeance. You will proceed to the southeastern corner of the city to eradicate them. We will now no such even gods in the sight of lost children. Uh, yes, mistress, immediately. You will speak when asked to speak. Now go and perform the will of Loft. She demands. Great. This one. Five worshippers of Gondar. This, uh, southeastern part of the city. Okay. We're gonna head over here then. And bloody tastic. Give me some direction. Would help if I hit the space bar. Oh my! That's a lot of jellies. No oh, Lord of Slime, <laughs> all will follow. What the fuck? That's one draw down. Oops, wrong 
button. This sparrow is ready to fly. And the man looks. Cure poison, do I? Nope. Oh, this is what I get for moving cure poison off of Ash. He gets poison. I'm waiting. I'm there. Yeah. Hank, he can't use his cure poison ability. If it must right. be done. We'll be dealing with the poison for a bit, or it could just wear off when I start to worry about it. This isn't even poison. I really, really the path should. To supremacy for a male lies either in the bedchamber or the books of the majors. Okay. Hold, friends. I've heard of your power prowess of late. Perhaps you'll be of an interest in a business proposal of mine. Uh, what is it that you want? I am Zaj, a merchant of some note within this city. Although you will not have heard of me, no doubt, since you are newcomers, no matter. I notice you are well equipped with magic, among other things, so I have assumed you may be interested in purchasing an item I currently have in my possession. See this golden rope I have here? It is a relic of no small power. Yours for the buying, if this is of any interest to you, of course. Uh, that depends. What does the rope do? Well, now, this guild of rope can do and what it can be used for are separate things. A bit of explanation is necessary for you to understand. Go on, then. First, to add credibility to its value, you must know that the rope belonged to the infamous Jarxel. Until I stole it, that is. You do know of whom I speak of, yes? I know of this drow, an infamous mercenary, leader of the Brigand Denatha, a powerful rogue known throughout the Underdog. Correct. And he always has much magic in his possession. This rope was once his. Sad for him that he didn't have it during his stay in Usnafa, to be sure. I'm sad, why is that? As the story went, Jalaxel came on a mission for House Jalat, uh, helping in a war against House Gillish. It was done in an orgy of blood to please even Loth. In the sacrifices that followed, though, the matron Jalat refused to pay Jalaxel, saying that the service rendered to the Spider Queen should be payment enough. According to the tales, Jalaxel simply bowed and left even as the gathered house mocked him and spread the story of his foolishness. What does this have to do with the rope? Jalaxel enacted a plan of revenge. He planned on acquiring the wardstone to allow him entrance into House Jalat so he could return their favor. But the wardstone was held by an ancient founder of Usnatha, Dirix, a powerful lich residing in the Mage Tower. The rope was to protect Jalaxel from Dirix's magic. I, uh, swapped the real rope with a fake, however. Jalaxel's men were imprisoned by the lich, and the rogue was laughed out of the city for the failure. This is the real rope, however. With it, you could be immune to Rolex's power, could loot the mage tower as you please, consider the possibilities. And is Jalaxo going to come looking for this item? One can never be sure. If he does, you seem more than capable of dealing with him than I. He's a quickly and dispose of it, and he may never know. Interesting. How much are you asking for it? Not much at all. A mere 1,000 gold, and it's yours, my lord. Well, that's a fair price. Here you go. Excellent, that is a relief. You should be able to enter the mage tower and be safe, though I wouldn't attack Derex if you can avoid it. Good luck, friend. Interesting. I got a feeling this is gonna go tits up south. But before I raid the tower and maybe fight a lich, I'm gonna see what the hell Saf yeah, Fairy wants. It's probably best oh, left to me. It is you again. Eldrin, good. I have a plan. A plan that will place me as the head of House of Spana, even as we take our place as the rightful ruling House of Usnatha. My plan includes you, Veldrin. Without your timely arrival here, none of this would have been possible. As I say, your rewards will be unimaginable. 
Oh my god. Refuse then? Well, why would you refuse? You have everything to gain, Veldrin. Everything. And everything to lose as I fail. In order for this plan to succeed, however, you must betray the Matron Mother. Are you willing to do this? Think carefully on your answer. I would prefer to first exactly to know what I'm going to be doing. No. There are too many things that cannot be said without your agreement first. I would hear from your list, Veldrin. I doubt I have much choice. I agree to do as you command. Hmm. I desire no half-hearted agreement. I must have insurance that you will not betray me for your own benefit. I suggest you convince me of your loyalty. Hmm. Very well. You are strong and you deserve the patron of matron mother fairy. The drow would be made stronger by your presence alone. Hmm. No. No, I do not trust you, Veldrin. You will betray me for your own benefit to the matron mother, I think. It is time for you to die. BITCH! Well, I guess I said the wrong thing. Wait, a yeah. lot? What? Uh... I Say what? What do you mean alarm has been sounded? Let me check this shit. Oh my! Oh my! Uh. Uh. Yeah. Let's not do that now. Oh, she out here. Hey, Tazla. Lords be praised. All victory is her doing. You have performed the will of love and are worthy of another day of life. You are blessed in your continued existence. It was an honor to serve, thank you. Do not presume to speak to me. Lofa calls upon you regardless of your honor. Go, you are no use to us now. Thanks, you worthless bitch. Okay. So. Let's try this again. We have to essentially guarantee our service to Fairy. So, ah, it is you again. Let's try this again. Let's just say it flat out. I have no qualms about betraying the matron mother. Good. And you may aid me in my plan and be rewarded accordingly once I am the new matron mother. Well, that was easy. Figures. Take the easy way out. You heard matron mother speak of the ritual? Matron will summon a demon of terrible power, Veldrin. One to aid the drown our attack upon the surface elves. Yeah, like that hasn't worked so well for you guys before. Or in the future. Does Hordes of the Underdark take place after Baldur's Gate 2 or before it? I want to say after, but I could be wrong. Timeline is fucked up because there's no fucking dates that I can remember. Ugh. It's not like this game gives me a year, does it? No, it just says day 71, hour 3. Open war on the surface elves. A bold move, bolstered by a greater demon summoning. Why would Irenicus involve himself, however? He holds the drow no great love, I am sure. Uh, the blood is a component in this ritual used to draw the demon's attention and bring it before us. But most gloriously, how the spawn has acquired the eggs of a silver dragon, the one guarding the route to the surface that we drow descended from so long ago. Holding these eggs hostage keeps the silver dragon from interfering. Even better, Matron plans to use them as an offering to the demon to enlist its aid. Indeed, what demon could refuse? House the Spana will have opened the way for the war and summon its most powerful warrior. We shall become prominent. But there is no rule that states Artilus must still be the matron mother of such a powerful house. Go to the treasury of Veldrin. Veldrin, steal the dragon's eggs and replace them with the convincing fakes I have made. You will bring the real eggs to me. Matron will offer the fake eggs to the demon to be killed, then I shall offer him the real eggs. The ritual will be complete, and I shall be matron mother. Here. Here's the key to the treasure room and the fake eggs. Take them. Return with the real eggs before the ritual is ready to begin. I carry too much as I it is. give you one Your warning. On the, the guards ground. will try to stop you in the treasury if they see you. Kill them if only if you must. You still, Feldren. Now go. Oh boy. Elven chain plus three. That goes in the bag. 
That goes in the bag. That goes in the bag. And that goes in the bag. This goes in the bag as well. Fake dragon eggs. <laughs> Obviously they're fake. Then again, I don't know if dragon eggs can turn into different colors. Well, they're born different colors. So where's the treasury at? Is it in, directly in the temple? West. Plan entirely the drow intent to invade the surface. To what end, I don't know. But Mother Darvish ritual is going to summon a great demon day to drow. Dragon eggs will be sacrificed to the demon in returns for its service. And this will place House of Spy and Grief here off. I don't feel like I fit in with the people in the city anymore. Well, this ain't our correct city. <laughs> House uh, variant has a betrayed matron Artilus and has coerced me into helping her. She wants me to go to the Spanish treasury in Lost Temple and replace the silver dragon eggs with the fake eggs the fairy has made. Then when Artilus offers the dragon the fake eggs, fairy can step in with the real ones. I must be careful to go to the treasury killing the guards. If it is done, it must be done discreetly if at all. Even once I get the eggs, the city will be, has been sealed by Mother Artilus. There is no escaping. I must continue to play along for now. Hmm. I wonder if I could spin this into my favor. Because apparently the sea's been sealed and I can't leave. That's a problem. That's a real problem. It's done. Okay, so I'm going to get the eggs, come out, see how much time I have left on the clock. Then head to Derek's tower. Do that quest. And then. <sighs> Apparently, pass out because I'm so fucking tired. What the you hell? Must gather your party before venturing forth. I do what I must, when I must. Know this well. Okay. <laughs> we're going. We're travert. We're tra Yeah, we're talking through dimensions here. <laughs> Eldrin, excellent, I have found you. I've been watching you for some time now here in the city. I do not know your purpose or if you will listen to me, but I have something to offer. Something that given that trenches went prairie, which she deserves. I followed her and saw that she has duplicates of the dragon's eggs made, and I surmised her plan. I have had a second copy made. Fairy had her copies marked so she would recognize them, but these have no marks. They will fool her if you give them to her instead of the real eggs. Will you take them, Veldrin? Will you take them and give them to her? Oh, I will. Thank you, Sulfin. Good! Whatever your purpose in the city, I don't care. But since you spared my life, well, I only wish I could see there, be there to see the look upon her face. Very well, then. Good luck. Cool. And I didn't drop anything because my inventory wasn't full. Excellent. I'm there. Okay, it's time to do some quick save magic. Immowin, my darling lovely. Hmm. The question of the day. I didn't kill fairy, so I don't have the pull off a cloak, but yep. we don't need that because her can be t gotcha. can go invisible and she can be non-detected. This is great. Because if I can avoid killing the guards, all the better. I just need to find the right door to the treasury. Locked. Now you see me, now you don't. Our law for self keeps the store closed, okay? That's not the right door. Is it over here? It would help if I could actually go into the shadows, please. <sighs> that ain't gonna work, is it? And maiden. Now you see me. Now, now you, you don't. don't. Patrons guards. Now you see me, 
Now you don't. Protect the eggs! Give me some direction. What do you want? In one turn of visible. Good to go. Do 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 do. Stealth and Guile is my middle name. <laughs> oh, that went out without that went off without a hitch. And since Imowen has the real eggs, she ain't gonna check her I'm inventory. Let's get out of here. Be done. Well, that was easier than I thought. Your party before venturing the dragon eggs are now secured in my be. inventory. These are the eggs of the silver dragon Adalon. They were stolen by the drought for some evil purpose. How can you tell they're silver dragon eggs when they're brown? Okay, sure. Whatever you say, game. They're silver eggs. Sure. Well, uh... Oh, there's the rope. Guild of rope. The effects of this magic. Well, I honestly doubt that. It's not an equipable piece. I just, I just need it in my inventory. Alright, let's go check out this lich. To examine this doorway, move closer. All right then, this can only go poorly. Not a concern. The way is blocked by a powerful bizarre ward. Just have to find a way to deactivate them if you wish to enter. Through destiny and might, we shall rule supreme. Ah, I sense that you have some amount of master of the art, male. Strange, truly, that you were not sent our way, even if you had hailed from Chednasad. Oh, great. Whoops, used to nullify the wards. You may enter if you wish. Okay. Give me some dr I hope this is worth it. This place will be your tomb. Bah! More flash links to disturb me. What is. Ah, you had the twisted cord in your possession, eh? Yeah, well, it should do you no good, fool. Oh, not combat immediately? Okay. The best surfacer is a dead surfacer! Ah, it worked! I wasn't sure it would. These things have a way of never working out exactly as you plan. Thinking on the fly is an occupational hazard. I don't know why I'm giving him this accent. Hmm, you must be Jorlaxel then. How rare to meet one so infamous. The one the same, charmed, I'm sure, pretty lady. Jorlaxel? Then Visage lied, the rope didn't work. Lied? Now that is a rather harsh language. Visage? Visage, are you about? The path to supremacy for a male lies either in the bedchamber or the books of the majors. I am here, Commander, at your service. Yes, I see that. Allow me to introduce you to my Lieutenant Visage. Visage, I'm sure you're already familiar with Eldrin, yes? Tell me, did you lie to him? I did not, Commander. I didn't think so. Zaj said the rope would protect you from Derwix's imprisonment spell, and it did! You're right here, not on some minuscule hellish subplane. This is a pocket dimension! Pocket plane! Headquarters of the Bergen Danathi, you're my mercenary band. I hope the rope will bring you here, and I see that it has. Welcome, Veldrin! Uh, will I go through all the subterfuge just to bring me here? If I wanted to s I wanted to see if you would actually attempt to face the Lich. Call it a test of your courage, if you will. With most of my men imprisoned by the Lich, I hardly had anyone left to do what I required done. And I can't go ask anything about just about anybody now, can I? And just what do you require done? Well, you are about to deal with the Lich anyway before he cast you into the plains. I simply need you to require something that he has in his possession. A ward stone for the house of Jalat. No, no, even if I know when, even I know when to give up on a plan. My men come first. The Lich has numerous gems that contain the souls of my men and I want them back. Whether you kill the Lich or not is up to you. Killing him will let you loot the tower, I suppose, but however you get those gems is no concern to me. Once you gather up the gems, I'll use the rope to pull you back into the headquarters here. Easy enough, yes? You ready to go then? Well, 
Wait a minute, what do I get out of all this? Alright! We're at the gesticulating helplessly part, aren't we? Besides, I thought I told you to remind me when we arrived at this point. My apologies, Commander. An oversight on my part. Ah, you're yeah, forgiven. As for you, dear friends, I think you will want to do this. You wouldn't want your true identity, would you, Vash? Ah, there'll be no need for such a glare, Vash. I'm confident you'll acquire the gems and the action will be unnecessary. And if you kill Derex, you can have access to his tower. You can even take the Jalot Wardstone and pillage House Jalot if you wish. It's all good. I just want to make sure that you find those gems in a timely manner. Hmm, how long would you say would be fair for such an hour? Uh, perhaps the day, Commander. We are in no rush. Ah, Vash won't need it, but just to be sure, you have one day, Vash, to get my gems. Make sure you hold on to the rope. You'll need it. See you then. Oh, and give my warmest regards to the Lich, would you? Motherfuckers. Aye, the lifeblood of a city. <laughs> it ebbs and flows the same on any plane. Yeah, civilization tends out to be the same no matter what setting you're in, or where you are. Well, do we have access to power word silence still? We do! This is gonna be easy as cake then. I'm waiting. I hope. I'll see to it. Yeah. See, did power word sounds work? I hope it did. No effect. Name it. I need bigger sword. I need bigger sword. Pierce this magic. Is ready to fly. At your command, of course. Well, not exactly pierce yes. magic, but remove all his protections, please, while I cast old monster. Jacques. Iconia, I want you to do... What does Bolt of Glory do against Undead? 86 damage! Oh, yes. Give me oh, some. Yeah. I need to be get a sword. Wow! You immediately go straight for the Cleric. You're smart. made the unfortunate to... Uh... Whoa! Whale the Banshee. Mince made his saving throw. Herod Elise and Emwin did not. Well... I'm the best at what I do. Well, that was a similar thing. Or translocation. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing, Derek. You killed Eri, which caused Mince to automatically go into Berserker mode. And now the Kermit is dead. No effect. Yeah, this ain't gonna go over so well. Let's try it again. I don't chop wood. Yeah. Okay. Give me some I'm direction. I hope this is worth it. I'm waiting. Let's cast Power Word Silence immediately. All right! Silence went off first. Yep. Excellent. Whoops, wrong button. I want you to cast... Remove Magic. This sparrow is ready to fly. At your command, Pierce Magic. Yes? Ari, I want you to use... Improved haste on Vash. Jacques. Yeah, Lyconia. Ooh, excuse me. Bolt of glory. No effect. No effect. <sighs> well, he's been silenced, so. The fact that you can cast this is annoying. Listo. 
viewpoint where Minsk goes to evil stands to his side. What do you say? Yeah, <laughs> we are more discouraging. Swords, not words! Oh, fuck off, Holy bitch! Man. Hold still. Get a Here! Uh, still. I need the bigger sword. Bigger sword, okay. Spell magic? That didn't work. Give me some direction. I am yours to command. Slay living! You ripped all wrong! Goddamn shadow door. Be I'll help however I can. Uh. Aha! A lich is dead. Excellent. Lich's tooth. Ooh, this is a tooth from the drought lich Derex. The tooth acts as a key for many of the lich's doors. It will also open his treasure vault at the top of his tower. Alright! We're taking all that. It's time for me to go today! Ladies and gentlemen, I've been NoGod21. This has been Let's Play Baldur's Gate 2, the Enhanced Edition. Next time, we're gonna raid the Slitch's Tower and triple cross both the Matron Mother, Fairy, and Drought Society as a whole. But until then, thanks for watching, have a wonderful evening, and I'll see y'all next time.